Sklaukami, Engine, Connection and Session Difference. I use SQL Alchemy and there are at least three entities, Engine, Session and Connection, which have Execute method, so if I for example want to select all records from table I can do this. And this. And even this. The results will be the same. As I understand it, if someone uses engine.execute it creates connection, open session, Alchemy takes care of it for you, and executes the query. But is there a global difference between these three ways of performing such a task? A one-line overview. The behavior of execute is same in all the cases, but they are three different methods, in engine, connection, and session classes. What exactly is execute? To understand behavior of execute we need to look into the executable class. Executable is a super class for all statement types of objects, including select, delete, update, insert, text, in simplest words possible. An executable is a SQL expression construct supported in SQL Alchemy. In all the cases the execute method takes the SQL text or constructed SQL expression i.e. any of the variety of SQL expression constructs supported in SQL Alchemy and returns query results. A result proxy wraps a DB API cursor object to provide easier access to row columns. To clarify it further, only for conceptual clarification, not a recommended approach. In addition to engine.execute, connectionless execution, connection.execute, and session.execute, it is also possible to use the execute directly on any executable construct. The executable class has its own implementation of execute, as per official documentation. One line description about what the execute does is compile and execute this executable. In this case we need to explicitly bind the executable, SQL expression construct, with a connection object or, engine object, which implicitly get a connection object, so the execute will know where to execute the SQL. The following example demonstrates it well, given a table as below. Explicit execution i.e. connection.execute, passing the SQL text or constructed SQL expression to the execute method of connection. Explicit connectionless execution i.e. engine.execute, passing the SQL text or constructed SQL expression directly to the execute method of engine. Implicit execution i.e. executable.execute is also connectionless and calls the execute method of the executable, that is, it calls execute method directly on the SQL expression construct, an instance of executable, itself. Note. Stated the implicit execution example for the purpose of clarification, this way of execution is highly not recommended, as per docs. Implicit execution is a very old usage pattern that in most cases is more confusing than it is helpful, and its usage is discouraged. Both patterns seem to encourage the overuse of expedient shortcuts in application design which lead to problems later on. Your questions. As I understand if someone use engine.execute it creates connection, open session, Alchemy cares about it for you, and executes query. 
You're right for the part if someone use engine.execute it creates connection but not for open session, Alchemy cares about it for you, and executes query, using engine.execute and connection.execute is, almost, one the same thing, informal, connection object gets created implicitly, and in later case we explicitly instantiate it. What really happens in this case is, But is there a global difference between these three ways of performing such task? At DB layer it's exactly the same thing, all of them are executing SQL, text expression or various SQL expression constructs. From application's point of view there are two options. Direct execution, using, engine.execute, or, connection.execute. Using sessions, efficiently handles transaction as single, Unit of work, with ease via, session.add, session.rollback, session.commit, session.close. It is the way to interact with the DB in case of ORM IE mapped tables. Provides identity underscore map for instantly getting already accessed or newly created slash added objects during a single request. Session.execute ultimately uses connection.execute statement execution method in order to execute the SQL statement. Using session object is SQL Alchemy ORM's recommended way for an application to interact with the database. An excerpt from the docs. It's important to note that when using the SQL Alchemy ORM, these objects are not generally accessed, instead, the session object is used as the interface to the database. However, for applications that are built around direct usage of textual SQL statements and or SQL expression constructs without involvement by the ORM's higher level management services, the engine and connection are king, and queen? Read on. Running? Execute. When executing a plain select from table name, there's no difference in the result provided. The differences between these three objects do become important depending on the context that the select statement is used in or, more commonly, when you want to do other things like insert, delete, etc. When to use engine, connection, session generally. Engine is the lowest level object used by SQL Alchemy. It maintains a pool of connections available for use whenever the application needs to talk to the database. Dot .execute is a convenience method that first calls con equals engine.connect close underscore with underscore result equals true, and the then con.execute. The close underscore with underscore result parameter means the connection is closed automatically. I'm slightly paraphrasing the source code, but essentially true. Edit, here's the source code for engine.execute. You can use engine to execute raw SQL. This is covered in the docs under basic usage. Connection is, as we saw above, the thing that actually does the work of executing a SQL query. You should do this whenever you want greater control over attributes of the connection, when it gets closed, etc. An important example of this is a transaction, which lets you decide when to commit your changes to the database, if at all. In normal use, changes are auto-committed. With the use of transactions, you could, for example, run several different SQL statements and if something goes wrong with one of them you could undo all the changes at once. This would let you undo both changes if one failed, like if you forgot to create the data log table. So if you're executing raw SQL code and need control, use connections.
Sessions are used for the Object Relationship Management ORM, aspect of SQL Alchemy, in fact you can see this from how they're imported, from sqlalchemy.orm import session maker. They use connections and transactions under the hood to run their automatically generated SQL statements. .execute is a convenience function that passes through to whatever the session is bound to, usually an engine, but can be a connection. If you're using the ORM functionality, use a session. If you're only doing straight SQL queries not bound to objects, you're probably better off using connections directly. Here is an example of running DCL, data control language, such as Grant.